All right, this is number four from the 2011 Calc A B exam, Form B. Um, they give you a derivative, and you're asked to use it to find a couple things about a function. Um, so here's the derivative, and notice the domain is x is greater than zero. Um, that's going to actually eliminate a possible critical point for us. So critical points, f prime is equal to zero, which means that x would have to be four, um, or f prime is undefined, but the domain uh, precludes zero from being a critical point, so we don't have to worry about it. I'm going to make a number line, which is not enough justification, um, but it can certainly motivate your justification. So I'm going to test uh, 1, I guess. And when I test 1 in the first derivative, I get a positive. And if I test, uh, I don't know, 5 million, I definitely get a negative. And that means that the function itself is increasing and then decreasing. And so f of x has a relative maximum at x equals 4, and the reason for that is because f prime changes from positive to negative there. All right, so that's part A. Nothing too bad. Um, part B is going to ask us about uh, concavity. We're looking for where the function is concave down, so we're going to have to find the second derivative. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute, because I'd rather not use the product rule. I mean, you could use the product rule. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, so I get that. Um, now I'm going to take the derivative, so f double prime, and this is just the power rule, so bring the exponent down and then subtract 1. Um, what I like to do is I like to rewrite this with uh, positive exponents, so I put those down in the denominator, and then a common denominator is x to the fourth, so I end up with this. And now what I need is to find where f double prime is uh, 0 or undefined. Uh, the undefined again is out because of the domain. Uh, so where it's 0 means that that numerator is 0, and I'm sure you can tell that that's 6. Uh, I do need to test it. So uh, if I plug in uh, 1, let's say, I definitely get negative, and if I plug in a million, I get positive. So let's summarize what we found. f of x is concave down on the interval 0 to 6, and the reason for that is because f double prime is less than 0 on that interval. All right, so that's part B. And the next part is we're just kind of solving a differential equation, I guess. Um, but it's not even separable. We're just going to integrate this thing. So I'm going to uh, distribute again. And then I'm just going to write a definite integral, uh, an indefinite integral, I'm sorry, like that. And reverse power rule. So we're going to do plus 1 times the reciprocal. So uh, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, the reciprocal is negative 1 half, and 4 times negative 1 half is negative 2, blah, blah. And the same sort of thing here, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, the reciprocal is negative 1, and there was already a minus there, so we get that. Don't forget your plus c. Let's solve for c now. So f of 1 is 2, which means that 2 is equal to negative 2 plus 1 plus c. We can tell from that that c is 3, and then we write f of x. All right, so that's not so bad. There's actually a different way to do this problem. Uh, if you're a huge fan of the fundamental theorem, you might have set it up like this as an accumulation function. So f of x is f of 1 plus the integral from 1 to x of f prime of t dt. We're using t there uh, to avoid having a, uh, a confusing relationship between the uh, variables. f of 1 is 2, and then replace f prime of t with uh, what it's equal to. And now we're just going to integrate that. So plus 1 times reciprocal, and plus 1 times reciprocal, from 1 to x. So we get 2, and then if I substitute in x, I get that. And then uh, if I substitute in 1, I just end up with negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. So all that minus negative 1 is the same as plus 1, so I get 3. Minus 2x to the negative 2 plus x to the negative 1 which is exactly what I got the other way, but I just thought I'd show you that both ways work equally well. Um, and that's the whole problem, so I hope you found this useful. Good luck.